Well, hello, folks. How you doing today? This is Captain Dave in the Wolf Den. And this is a little bit different kind of video. And it's all about what I just had the mailman deliver. You notice this? A lavalier mic. A lavalier mic. I hope in the wolf den, for some reason, there is carpets on the floor. But I even noticed it. I noticed it, but I didn't understand it. Is my GoPro Hero 5, which I love. I've got two of them. And then I've got three GoPro Hero 4 Sessions, which are the little cube jobs. I like the 5 because it seems to do everything. It does everything pretty good. Well, in this room, I was getting... I wouldn't call it muffled, but I was getting a weird kind of sound off of the GoPro, you know, microphones. And it was, to me, it was kind of low and a little echoey, maybe. I mean, it's just a room. And I thought I was going to help it by putting carpets on the floor because this room just has concrete floor. And Victor over at iFish. I, like iPhone, iFish. He said, and I've known him for quite a while, since the pretty much his first, second, third type video. Uh, he's a, he was a, well, he started out as a cat fisherman. I think, if I'm getting it right, Victor, um, catfish, carp, all that kind of stuff they did over in, uh, like, Europe or whatever, right? And he was in Chicago. And I do not, I think, no, I was watching his videos pretty much because he was, he was really into all the ugly sticks. And I think he even started to go into the Ryogas, Daiwa Ryogas, if I'm not mistaken. He did a ton of videos on the catfish rods, uh, let's see what else just tackle in general and I started I was watching his channel and I mean it's so far and away from what I do because he was in Chicago fishing in lakes right and but I wanted to see somebody else's take you know on the, the catfish rod the ugly stick catfish rod that says catfish on it and I think maybe he was using the stripers too I'm not really sure and let's see I think he was using some tritons Shimano tritons like I do so that's how I started watching his channel and you know we banter back and forth I give him tons of shit I always give him tons of shit especially when he was in Chicago I always gave him, and you know, Victor, I just give you a ton of shit. You know what I mean? It's just the way, it's boys will be boys kind of thing, right? No harm, just a ton of shit. <laughs> Whenever I can, I give him some shit. You know, people give me shit all the time too, okay? So, uh, the greatest thing that ever happened to Victor is he got to move to... Tennessee and get the hell out of the Chicago area. Oh my God. I'm seeing, I gave him some shit. I mean, he lives in a beautiful house in a nice neighborhood. He has some property deer in his backyard, you know, the whole nine yards. I mean, 10 times better than what he was doing up there in Chicago. Fishing nicer places, even though he did, you know, some trolling and stuff and he caught some big lake trout. But, uh, so that's a little history 
on somebody that I watch that has absolutely nothing to do with what I do. I remember Victor told me one time, <laughs> I don't even own a knife except one of those little push out the blade type knives. And I'm like, dude, man up. Don't you have any, you know, any balls? I mean, come on. Every man should carry a knife. You know, we can't carry, not every man can carry a gun. I mean, I would. I should. I don't know. I don't have, I don't have a need for it. Victor did up in Chicago, I'm sure. And I watched him go through the winter stuff, you know, all that. So... I, it just got to be where I was watching him and he was seeing some of my videos and stuff like that. Well, I guess it was a video or two ago when I was in this room. For some reason, I don't know if it's this case I'm using on the GoPro. I kind of switched frame cases that the GoPro goes in. I was getting all kinds of muffly, kind of echoey kind of sound. And Victor says, hey, you know, you sound like your, your, your camera or whatever's wrapped in a condom. <laughs> in a condom. He specifically used the words condom. So he, he said, I got a bunch of stuff. He's done a lot more experimentations, I guess than I have. I always, you know, I was just out doing a video the other day with Chris from New Jersey and I was using a GoPro outside and that was the little Hero 4. And I mean, the, 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 uh, the sound quality was perfectly fine and it was, you know, wind blowing and everything. So I don't understand what was going on, but Victor said, I'm going to send you a microphone. Well, I got this lavalier microphone here, and what it takes is a special little box. I can't show you because it's hanging on the GoPro right now. GoPro made you get an adapter of some sort. It plugs in to a USB-C, and then it's got plugs on the bottom of it to plug in things like this lavalier mic. So I'm hoping this is sounding so much better here in the wolf den. I did test it twice. So I hope it's doing it right now. But look at the box of stuff Victor sent me. I can't believe he, he sent so much stuff. I was expecting a lavalier mic. You know, that's all I was. I thought it was going to be like a little envelope with a lavalier mic in it or something. And maybe this adapter that's hanging on the GoPro. But... He did mention this. Now they call this a dead rabbit. And this, I tested it and it works great too. So I can mount this maybe even on my light over here. See that big giant light? I can mount this on my light and it too will plug right in to the GoPro adapter. So we sent that and that's a nice little, that's a nice little uh, microphone here. You know, they wrap it in the fuzz here to keep it, the wind noise out. But this light is a camera mount and light. So now I can strap this to it. So he sent that. He sent braid, heavy braid. I guess this is a lot heavier than he would use because now Victor's a, you know, he's a serious crappy fisherman and he's using all this mega, mega light tackle stuff, which is good for him. <coughs> uh, some USB cords, a plug. Here's something that I'll be able to probably press right into service, Victor. He sent me this and what this does is it goes around your neck and you dangle I'm gonna try this you dangle 
your GoPro from here. I'm going to try this with my uh, Hero 4 Sessions, probably the first. So you put that on, and now it's like you can adjust the camera to look straight out. So we sent this. He does a lot of the chesty, you know, chest mount stuff. He sent Trocar Eagle Claw live bait hooks. Oh my gosh. These things, I mean, what, what size of her? Seven aught. I guess he was thinking, you know, use this for the kitty cats. I always call them kitty cats. I call them kitty cats here too, because let me tell you, they ain't the same as you catch. If you caught, let's say, how you see these guys catching these gigantic catfish, these 30, 40, 50, 60 pound cat. If you grabbed one and held on to one, you know, like a big old cuddly thing, like they do with those freshwater cats, saltwater cat would kick your ass, spine you, flip around, and give you an infection like there's no tomorrow. I know. I, as a matter of fact, right now in this finger, it is now calloused over. But weeks ago, I got spined by a live shrimp and the horn on the shrimp broke off in my finger. I dug out as much as I could, but there's still something in there. And then what happens is it'll callous right over and I can feel it. So uh, here's some octopus hooks, gamagatsu octopus hooks. They're five aughts. And then look at these. Let me open the box. He sent these. I'm holding the camera by hand here. Big, big circles. He's got a big box of circles here. You got some straight eyed. You got some turned out eye. I guess he was trying to use these doing the kitty cats. There's a, uh, looks like a gamagatsu or owner type. So he sent a bunch of these hooks, which is super cool. Because around here, we use hooks like matchsticks. Like matchsticks. You know. Okay, here's something I can definitely, I mean, I can press this into service like no tomorrow. Here is some trocar nine knot nine knot hooks he sent these i mean these trocar things ain't cheap uh here's some miscellaneous ones that fell out of the package let me put them in the package all right uh let's see what else he sent some bass lure type things bass pro shop speed shads yeah, they look like, uh, what's that, Kalins? They look like those Kalin ones. I could definitely use these. Big soft plastics for speckled T-Route. Here's another one. Speed Shad. It, said, it says scented. I wonder how big they are. Five and a quarter inches. <laughs> A 15 inch trout would suck this down like a fun size Snickers bar if he really wants it. All right, oh, here we go. It's falling out of the package. But we got a Reef Runner Deep Diver here with rattles. I can use this. I can put this in the arsenal for sure. And what else did he send here? Uh, a deep diving jointed, a deep dive in Yozuri. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Victor. I can press so much of this right into service as I'm pressing this into service right now. So hopefully no more muffly sounding reverberating sound here inside 
you know, I'm not going to be, I said to him, I said, I don't know if I'm doing any videos like, you know, I'm not doing any new knife videos. Well, I'm still doing videos in here, even though I might not be doing, you know, oh, check out this knife that I just got and the reason I got it and everything, because nobody seems to really care about knives. That's, that's point blank been, here's your sign. So, um, and I'm trying not to, I'm not buying any expensive knives, that's for sure. Yeah, I still buy knives. And you may see them, but I don't think I'm going to, like, review them or anything. So, I hope this is all working. This is nice and long. I really am going to press this into service on this light over here. And... Put in the comments below that if you think this sound is superior. And we can all thank Victor at iFish YouTube channel. You can check his stuff out too. I'll put a link to it in the video description. If not, right straight across the screen when I do the editing of this. Which I'll do right now. So, thanks Victor. This really... You were right. He, he's like, oh, it's going to work. It's going to work. It should work for you. So I'm testing this one out. Next, I'll be testing this out up and over here kind of thing. Up and over with the light. And on the boat, I'm going to test this out. I'm going to test see how this thing works. So you put your GoPro there and you hang it around your neck. Cool beans. So thanks again, Victor. And put your comment below if you think the sound is so much better here in the old wolf den. And I'll see you on the next one.